Hey, friend of the show, Lil John, what is the game we are playing today? It's Atelier! That's right. Thank you for that. Let's freaking go, everybody. Here we are. Task number two. We've eaten through one month. It was not the pinnacle of efficiency in month one of task two, but we're managing. We're about halfway done with this explosive quest, and we still have plenty of this stuff to do. Uh, including gotta use my items a bunch of times. Hmm. We'll see about it. I think last time, I, I, I'm a little off my kilter. What were we doing last time exactly where we left off? Yeah, this is what I recall. I think we basically used up most of our supplies, so... I think... Whoa. I think what we can do now is go to the mines to begin with. Let's just not dilly-dally any further this time. Let's just get on with the adventuring. The National Mines, which we are yet to check out. There's stuff to do in the ruins, of course, but I'm hoping the mines will provide the kind of... Um, the kind of uh, mineral-oriented supplies that we need to... to... Uh, um, to um, blah, 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 blah. What are we doing here again? I'm blanking out. Oh, right, to uh, make all those bombs and cannons and barrels that I'm planning on doing. Oh. Spooky. Hey, this is that underground cave area I was expecting the ruins to be. Hey. Isn't that nice? Now, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Iron clay. This was, I think, one of um, Esty's quests, which had a humongous reward for it. Is another one of Cordelia's strange schemes, do you wonder? I don't know, but we will check it out. Fuel, dirt, and iron clay. I have to um, state my curiosity. It's too bad that this information isn't anywhere more accessible, but we if we go over here, it'll tell us what the assorted traits are. So these count as ores, and this counts as gunpowder. Mm, all right. And they all count as supplements, right. Ores were needed for something. I... Where did you get that right? Something needed ores. Ooh, Nardi ring. Ingot jewel and a forgotten bone. Maybe it was... Oh, interesting. There's This one tells you the places you can get them, which is handy. Cool, you can get pebbles here in the mines as well. Right. Okay, well, let's not worry about it too much. We just just so we know now we get ores and stuff like that. And oh my god, the camera is messing me up here. Oh, is this another gathering area? Okay. Well, these look like regular slimos. So let's just they are regular slimos. Pu blue punies. Puny is the name of the slimes in these games. Uh oh, bad order. But that slime decided to amscray, so not that bad order, actually. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, slimes. I think now is as good a time as any to bring those up. It's all thanks to... Thanks to Dragon Quest slash Dragon Warrior that slimes are as popular as they are in... JRPGs, right? I'm, I'm not mistaken about that. There wasn't something before Dragon Quest that featured slimes, right? As, as like the beginning area enemies. Because it's not just that they're beginning area enemies, but th these punies share that same kind of goofy, cutesy look and blue coloration that the classic slimes have. It's slightly different, of course, so that no, no copyright laws are broken. <laughs> But I, I still think the influence is very visible there, and... Ooh, ooh, aggressive bugger. And I would say that, um... Like, it's not just even Atelier. Like, I know the Neptunia games have Dagoos, which are just the slimes from Dragon Quest, but they have cute dog faces on them. So, like, that's, again, riffing on that classic... Oh... Glow grass. 
Let's sate our curiosity on that one as, as well. What does glow grass count as? Where is it? By the way, does the trivia here explain why beehive is a gunpowder? No, it doesn't. There's nothing. Just regular old trivia about gunpowder. Okay, plant threads and gunpowder. All right. Fascinating. It's very rare near Ireland. Only blossoms in places with clean water and air. Would not have th thought an industrial mine would fill that thing, but... Oh boy, here looks... This looks like... The fact that this guy sitting here is this, this is one of those barrier to a new area guys, so... They're coming. Be careful. Let's... Oh god, oh god, no. Oh no, this looks really bad, which means... Time to break out the big guns. Apostle, maybe Apostle, but like it looks like it's kind of like Apostle, which kind of a cool name, and a Dinarn. Oh, hey, that's one of the one of the extra assignments was to defeat a Dinarn. So win or lose, we're getting that this time. Sick. Oh, wow, these guys are tough. That guy still needed to. Let's actually... Let's reduce the amount of attacks coming our way. So let's take out this puny first. Now I'm thinking, like, this is gonna be a battle of attrition, clearly, with these tough enemies. This is not gonna be... This is not gonna be a fight where... We, we're, like, one and done quick. So let's instead cut down the amount of attacks coming our way. And work on these big boyos. By the way, I did make a bit of a mistake here as I ran off. I kind of wanted to come to this area with um, Cordelia rather than Ixel, just to, like, spread out the EXP a little bit. I don't know how much characters level up off-screen in this game, but I would have liked to have Cordelia here, so I'll have to try and remember once we're done here to, to uh, swap in um, Cordelia with... Uh, I, I want to keep Sturk for now, since he's such a tank. Now let's see if we can clear this chat with just some melee. Doesn't look like it. Come on! Only one damage, perfect. Nice. Ooh, big, big, big XP from this tough barrier enemy. There we go, and we get a Penda look. Fascinating. And a Bandra root. I wonder where that came from. Yes, cannon has been fired, a bomb has been thrown, and a Danarn has been subjugated. Wait, wait a second. Oh, shoot. It wasn't like the wolf quest from the first one where we had to defeat only one wolf. We gotta take five of these things out. Well, that puts a little problem in my front, for sure. Yowzers. Okay. By the way, I really do like... I think I mentioned it last time. I like that this time the assignments have so many of these, like, use... Use items in battle things. I think that's really smart, because I think that's, like, um, in a non-intrusive way... Teaching us about the utility of using items in battle. Like, I don't think we really needed to use... Like, it helped, but we didn't maybe necessarily need to use items back in um, the first chapter, the first assignment, with those forest enemies and ruin enemies, maybe? Like, we could kind of do those. But clearly these Denarns and uh, Apostles are going to be a whole other cookie, so... Now, we have a split, but if I go to the other place, we're going to have to fight this tough boy brigade a second time if I don't take care of this area now, so instead... Let's waltz over to wherever this leads, and we can always double back to this place. How's our uh, equipment? Not our equipment, our basket. We have 24 out of 60, so still plenty of work to be done. No, no, no. Plenty of work to still be done here. Alright. Now remember my trick. I want to save these items with one use on them so I can turn them into uh, Sturk. Back at the, uh... Back at the, uh... Castle. Let's see. Not quite! 
super cast. No, it eats MP. Ooh, that's really bad. All right, there we go. Now let's see. Probably not gonna beat this Apostle in one go, even if I tried to use some of my tricks and traps. Although I guess I could. Well, why the heck not? Let's let's do these barrels because it's funny. Oh yeah, with the assist we can probably do this. Or we could just run it over. Oh. Sick. Oops. Oh god. I completely forgot about... Oh no! No, no, no! I completely... I smashed through and I lost. That's so bad. Wow, wow. By the way, this is a really nice quality iron clay. Hmm. Anyway, Flarg, that was so stupid on me. Oh no, egg on my face. That probably would have been like rare stuff too, and I just completely flubber bloided myself on that front. Ooh. Let's do this order because I bet Ixul can. Yeah. Or I mean, sorry, I bet Sturk can one shot those slimes. Ow. Now let's see if... This is just for test's sake. Let's see if we can... Okay, not even a full salvo of our characters can defeat a single Apostle. Very good to know, very good to know. I want to use two more bombs since that'll leave us with one in our inventory and we'll fill out the bomb quest at least. Oh, we learned a new skill again. Tasty Eats and something that Verona got? Okay. What did you learn? Detect danger. Oh, it doesn't cost any points, and it just... Cool. It just is like a nice little buff. Very neat. That's, that might come in handy at some point. I'm not sure when, because we're trading out a move for that, but... Ah, Flogiston. That's kind of what I was looking for. Although I guess some of these items might fulfill that role that Flogiston fills. Oh, that guy looks evil. Whatever this guy is, let's just deal with. Actually, that does look like a bomb, now that I look at it. That could have very well been, um, oh, what it is it, a, um, like a Final Fantasy bomb. So I think, right choice that I beat this up, this dude, early. Eeh. And yeah, we're taking a bit of a beating. Sturk is healing. Did I give him an item that provides passive healing? Not good enough. Wait a second, he's that far ahead? Sturk is that far ahead in levels? He's level 14 already. Wow, no ma no wonder he's taking these guys out so hard. Nice, got the bomb done. But I can't... Oh, Ooh, that is weird. That is like really specific where you can pick that. Chain web, one of the items, one of the special items need a chain web to be made. Nice. You know what I just realized? We totally have monster trivia here. Did we look at this previously? I don't remember. But now that we've ran into these odd enemies, we might as well have a quick trivia round, right? So this was the Audra, a big bird-like monsters. You can see them flying around in the sky pretty often. So what's this Apostle? It's a messenger race. Fascinating. What an interesting... What an interesting name for these, like, devil things. That's so curious. I wonder if there's some biblical connotation there? Or could it even be some kind of weird Evangelion reference? You see the, the angels in Evangelion, I'm talking about Neon Genesis Evangelion. In, in, in Japanese they're called... Hmm... I think they're called Shito? It's either Seito or Shito, I don't quite remember which one off the top of my head. But that actually means, literally, that actually means more messenger than angel in, like, normal use in Japanese. It's kind of an odd thing that... So I wonder... I, but, of course, this is not very angelic. This is a demonic thing, but it's the first thing that came to my mind when I saw that. Small demons. Despite their tiny stature, they look pretty evil. They aren't that powerful, but their stanches... Ooh. I don't know. They're pretty rough. This is a Danarn. Their ancestors were dragons. They're stronger than lizards, but weaker than dragons. And they can't do any crazy tricks like spitting out fireballs, either. 
All right, but they look pretty savage enough, like freaking raptors. So I'm pretty spooked. Oh, this is a ghost! Oh, it looked like a bomb, though, but it's okay. Ghosts that inhabit items that were left lying around by foolish people. They seek attention, but usually end up scaring people away. Very spooky. That thing has kind of, um... Oh, what is it? Uh, uh, Atlas vibes. It, it's some of those creatures in, in Shin Megami Tensei, the, the, the jack-o'-lantern and the frost jack guy. Kind of gave me the same vibes, that ghost. Ooh, what's that? Whoa, this is really nice. Another chain web? Nice, I will take it. For a second I thought this would be one of those obstacles we have to deal with, like blow up this minecart that's blocking our path. Not so. Let's go. So, did we still have... We can still fire a cannon at something. I think... I think we'll just... I think we'll just YOLO this round. You know, we should totally have, um... Ixel block whenever Rorona is attacked, because... Since he can... He has this auto-heal apparently on him. You know... He'll recover from whatever scratches the enemy provides him. I think that's the smart move. Although... Ooh, 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 ooh. If he just goes straight for Ixel, that'll be a problem as well. Oh, wow. Really has it out for Ixel, too. Yay! Yahoo! Okay, not great finds, unfortunately. I wish we could have gotten a little more. All right, these are all good. I'm happy, by the way. I'm not super spooked by this, uh... By this, um... Mine. I was a little scared again of going to a new area, and... Certainly, these enemies are a cut above what we've been doing so far. These Apostles and Denarns, but it's... It's, uh... It's nothing, nothing impossible so far. I, I'm... I'm Still feeling fairly confident on that front. We'll see if I bring um, Cordelia in the team, like Swap, Ixel, and Cory, how well we do at that point. But that'll be another day, that. Good, good. Dunarns are getting work done. Uh-oh, another Guardian. Do you think we've got the chops? I kind of, mm, kind of wish I didn't use my cannon this time. It's, let's go, because if we do this again, we've accessed this area, so let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Yikes. Okay. No, no items from Rorona. Uh, let's try and take a ghost out. Nice, lucky critical. That might be what we need, because... Um, Didn't he get a new move? Odd. Okay. Anyway, let's see if we can slam jam this ghost. Yes, we can. Soul Drain. Oh, that sounds bad. Um. Oh no! All of his stats are destroyed. What a mean ghoulie. All right. So we attack this guy. Whoa, on a row? Oh my god, AoEs, are you kidding me? Alright, so if we hit that ghosty, I think that catches everybody? I'm not sure about that Apostle in the front, but it's the one here we want to hit anyway, and I think that's good, so... <sighs> Oops, I went to use Ixel, like I said. Uh, it doesn't matter that much, one point here and there. Oh, well, they really have it out for Sturk. Uh, oh, this guy is almost ticked out, so let's do that. Uh, let's, come on, come on, ghosty! Oh, no, a critical and still not done. Oh, no, everyone's so drained! Let's... See, 
Okay, so I think... Yeah, 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 this wasn't so bad after all, but it... Looked a little scary as we begun. Let's say if I hadn't used that crazy AoE from Sturk, this might have been a slimier fight, but I think at that point it was worth it to chuck that move out. Sick. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, now we're gonna go over here. Further into the mines. Exciting. Mm. Oh, I wish we could check... Oh, well, we can. Okay, good. What's our basket? It's 42 out of 60. Yeah. We are going to go back to the mine's entrance. Double back. And just to keep some room in my... My basket, I'm not gonna boogie with all the... I'm not gonna clear this whole area. Instead, we're just gonna swing on over here. You feel me? Like, I wanna check out what this is. If it's like the previous areas... Wow, demons... Demon's Path, that's a really cool name. Um, if this is like previous areas, the um, forest and the ruins, this will be a tiny little cubby area with no enemies that you can just collect items. Uh, uh, mm. Well, I was completely off the mark. Look at that lad over there. Let me see. It looks fresh. Should we take it? What kind of egg do you think it is? I don't know, it's just an egg. Mmm. Yeah, but like, from what? I don't know, the giant lizard monster standing ten feet away from us over there? Some creature? I don't know. Well, do you think it's safe to eat? Why not? It's an egg. I'll make a special giant omelet for lunch. Wanna join me? No, thank you. Oh, that sounds delicious. Though I feel a little bad for whatever is in this egg. Some egg. Groovy. Okay, so this, this is a tiny area, so I was right on that front. But the enemy density is quite something. Ah, stimstones! Something needed these as well. Some item. So, very good. Now this should... be a piece of cake. Never mind. I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna... A little zero-braining this one, but it seems to go okay. Overwhelm these. Looks like we've won. Yeah, all good. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, this is nice. Yay! A healing salve. Sick. What's it doing here in these rocks? I don't know, but it's good. Another slimy lad. You know, another thing I haven't really addressed, apart from talking in general about how I like it in, in the Atelier series, is the music. Particularly the combat music, which I know... It should... It should get a lot more butt rock. Or maybe that only happens in later Atelier games, and in Rorona they were still a little subdued. I don't know. I do know, I like this kind of... Swingy little jazzy music that plays in this game, I think it's pretty charming. It has vibes of um, Genesis-era Sonic games, is what it comes to my mind. Another some egg. That's some egg. Okay, do you think this is a regular Denarn, or is this some kind of special boss Denarn, since it's so huge? They did say in the tutorial that there would be um, boss enemies, or like special extra difficult enemies, so I don't know. Now we're doing that. They're coming. Be careful. Okay, well the music is still the same and... Okay, they're Denarns. Okay, okay, they're just Denarns. Good. So I think... I think we can do this. I know this is kind of bad order. I should be dealing with the punies, I guess. But let's see if I can... Maybe this will wipe out the punies. Yes, it will! Very good. And after this, we are like, look at that, we are completely dry on MP. On... well, not completely dry, but we are running low, so we're gonna be returning back to town very soon. We got these tasks done, so it's all good. What's our basket? Oh, okay, we actually only had... 
one left. Let's get rid of a puny ball, because we have tons of those from previous slime encounters. Oh, what? No? Okay, good. What? What? Oh, so I can't take anything from there. Oh, that's annoying. Let's get rid of another puny... How do, how do I get rid of... Isn't there an... Oh, there we go. Discard item. I was like, really? Uh, no, 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 no. Really, discard? Yes, really. Another bomb! Nice. Very good, very good. We've done the bomb already, so we could turn in one bomb. No problem. Especially because it's down to one. Yeah, but yeah, now we have to call it here. Although this ore area is good to know. There's some good stuff to find here. So let's swing right back. Oh, it eats three days just to go back as well? Arg. That's brutal. Thank you so much for helping me. You don't need to thank me. I have to start synthesizing right away. Excuse me. She needs to calm down a bit. I'm glad she seems to appreciate my help. How gentlemanly of you, Sturkenberg. Uh-oh. You should stop sneaking up on people. And I recall asking you to stop calling me that. Have these two met before? I don't think so. Ex well, I guess except this is implying they have met previously, but I, I don't remember in the events in this game. Like, the whole thing was that he, Sturk, showed up when Astrid was out of out of the room and Rorona had to do all the dealings with him by herself. I don't like saying your real name every time, but I know how much it bothers you. Oh my god. <laughs> so, what do you want? What's your plan? What do you mean? I want to know what you're trying to get from helping Rorona. Good question. Nothing. I'm helping her because I want to. That's all there is to it. Uh, okay, that's pretty nice. Hmm. Fine. You're not the scheming type anyway. Fair enough. Like, <laughs> Astrid, this is a very peaceful slice of life game. It, people just are naturally inclined to be nice. However, if you're doing this to make yourself feel better... How dare you? Neither the king nor I expected you to make Rorona take on these jobs for you. Oh, I see. They were just like, well, Astrid, who cares? Because, you know, Astrid. But, you know, now poor Rorona's in, on the line of fire. Okay. You're losing it, Sturkenberg. <laughs> I apologize. I'm also just making sure that you don't have any filthy thoughts towards sweet little Rorona. You don't, do you? My goodness, what an insinuation. I am not like you. Oh, wow, what a freaking... <laughs> what a freaking turn that around. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. I'm glad you're still the same nice guy. What is that, sarcasm? It's called a compliment. Relax. Anyway, as her master, I guess I should officially ask you to please take good care of my dear pupil. Because, you know, Lord knows she's doing such a good job. <laughs> And don't do anything to her. Rorona is mine. See, that's it, like that's when I'm like, ugh, uh, that's so, ugh, uh, I don't like that. That's weird. That's enough. <laughs> the angrier you get, the more suspicious you make yourself look. How can anyone under that woman's guidance turn out like Rorona? Hmm. <laughs> well, there we go. So, all right. Uh, yeah. Stick that stuff in the container before we get cracking with synthesis it's the regular routine first of all fill up our water stores because always some use for water don't you think 